The following is distributed by the Berean Call. Now, Religion in the News, a report and comment on religious trends and events being covered by the media. This week's item is from the Christian Post, January 4th, 2007, with the headline, Insensitive Christianity? The following are excerpts. Christian missionaries travel across the world to preach Jesus Christ as the way, the truth, and the life. Indigenous people of foreign lands, however, question the bold Christian approach, with some calling it insensitive. People asked, are you really going all the way across the world to ask people to change from their Buddhist way and become Christian? Steve Bailey, associate professor at Alliance Theological Seminary in Metro New York, recalled during a seminar last week at Urbana 2006. Missionaries are typically told to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth. But many times, that Christian mandate impedes on the other people group's culture and religion. Hassan Fakuri of International Fellowship of Evangelical Students is an Arab Christian from Jordan. When Christians preach that Jesus died on the cross or about the triune God to the Muslim world, he says that's being insensitive. Fakuri gave four points of advice on being sensitive and tolerant at the same time. Number one, love people. Two, respect the other. Three, learn about the culture and history that one will minister to. And four, be teachable. Don't be Mr. and Mrs. Know Everything. Being tolerant and sensitive doesn't mean to compromise the truth, Fakuri clarified. Bailey left students with words from St. Francis of Assisi, Preach the gospel at all times, and if necessary, use words. Dave, I, I like a, a lot of what uh, you know, was read here. Um, we certainly to love people, to respect the others, uh, to learn about culture and history that one's going to minister to and, and be teachable. Don't be Mr. and Mrs. Know Everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would think that this young man from the International Fellowship of Evangelical Students uh, would be a little bit more uh, concerned, <laughs> thoughtful about what he says. He says, when Christians preach that Jesus died on the cross, or about the triune God to the Muslim world, he says that's being insensitive. Now, wait a minute. Um, that's not being insensitive. That's a matter of declaring the gospel. I mean, how, how else are they going to be saved unless they understand the truth? Exactly. But at the same time, he contradicts himself. Being tolerant and sensitive doesn't mean to compromise the truth. Now, what does he mean by truth? Well... Thy word is truth, the gospel is the truth. And what is the gospel? How that Christ died for our sins mm -hmm. according to the scriptures, was buried, rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now he says, but that's going to offend um, Arabs uh, or Muslims if you say that Christ died on the cross. We talk about the triune God. Well, how are you going to not compromise and yet not say the truth about the gospel mm -hmm. and in particular with regard to islam things that need to be corrected or else i mean they claim to to believe in jesus isa correct but he is not the jesus of the bible he's not the biblical christ well, well tom we'll get to the to the heart of it here surah 4 uh, declares very plainly that Jesus did not die on the cross. You're so, quoting the Quran. Right, in the Quran. So now he says, well, if you say Jesus died on the cross, you're being insensitive and uh, you will offend them. Well, Paul said the cross is an offense. Uh, but how can they be saved unless we give them the gospel. This is the gospel, how the Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. The fact is that the Koran lies. The Koran lies in many ways. There are many things in there. The Koran 
of course, you talk about the Trinity. Well, look, 16 times the Quran says God is not a father and he has no son. And the Quran says if you believe in the Trinity, you go straight to hell. So now we're going to have to compromise the gospel uh, in order to get people saved. They can't get saved without the gospel. The gospel, Romans 1.16, is the power of God into salvation to everyone who believes, obviously, who believes the gospel. So the man is, is uh, contradicting himself. He's, he's, confu he's confused. Mm -hmm. We don't want to offend anybody. So, well, then what do we do? Uh, I guess Paul must have offended people if they threw him in prison, they beat him and stoned him. Uh, they didn't like it, the Romans didn't like it, that he was saying there's only one true God and you're idols. Uh, th those are, are not gods. Now, mm -hmm. Tom, when they talk about uh, culture, uh, then I could agree with them. We don't go to change the culture. Uh, we don't go to make people live like Westerners or eat or act like Westerners. On the other hand, there is usually a very close relationship between culture and their religion. Mm -hmm. It is so tied in. And this is true in Islam. Islam does not follow what Jesus said, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. There's no allowance for religion to be separate from the government. But Islam is everything, and it is your culture. It dictates everything. Mm -hmm. So we cannot uh, avoid offending their culture because it is their religion. And Dave, the last statement by this uh, professor, uh, Steve Bailey, who addressed this uh, meeting at um, Urbana 2006, he says, he leaves them with the words of St. Francis of Assisi, preach the gospel at all times, and if necessary, use words. <laughs> I grew up 30 years listening to the sayings of Francis of Assisi, and I can tell you, I never heard the gospel. Uh, the scripture says, this is Romans 10, 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So we need to preach and teach the word not just, and certainly our lives need to reflect our living out the word, the gospel, mm -hmm. but we need to preach and teach the word. And you cannot get the point across, you cannot communicate the truth just by living a good life because there are plenty of Buddhists or people of all ideas and even atheists who live good lives. So if necessary, preach, use, if necessary, use words, yeah, it's the only way you can do it. Please visit our website, thebereancall.org, to access our radio archives going back to 1999 and our newsletter going back to 1986. We offer daily updates by email or visit us on Facebook or Twitter. Are you looking for information about a specific topic? Go to thebereancall.org and click on Topics at the top of the page. Our online store is thebereancall.com. We offer a wide variety of books, tracks, CDs, and DVDs. Note that most of our ebooks are free. I'm Gary Carmichael. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope you can join us again next week. Until then, we encourage you to search the scriptures 24 7. Don't none go with me. I still will follow, no turning back, no turning back.